back to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kern. Today's poem is by E.E. E. Cummings, Edward Estlin Cummings. He lived from 1894 to 1962. He supposedly wrote over 2,900 poems, plus two autobiographical novels, four plays, and several essays. He's certainly one of the most famous of 20th century poets mainly associated with free-form uh, poetry, with modernism. But he also was clearly knowledgeable about various forms, and I think you'll see that in the poem that I'm going to read today. It's called, I Carry Your Heart With Me, I Carry It In. So here is that poem by E.E. E. Cummings. I carry your heart with me, I carry it in my heart. I'm never without it. Anywhere I go, you go, my dear, and whatever is done by only me is your doing, my darling. I fear no fate, for you are my fate, my sweet. I want no world, for beautiful you are my world, my true. And it's you or whatever a moon has always meant, and whatever a sun will always sing is you. Here is the deepest secret nobody knows. Here is the root of the root and the bud of the bud and the sky of the sky of a tree called life, which grows higher than soul can hope or mind can hide. And this is the wonder that's keeping the stars apart. I carry your heart. I carry it in my heart. So as I said, Cummings is commonly known for, for, for modernism, for free-form poetry. And I think the way it plays vocally, the way, the way you hear it, what you're probably hearing when I read that, Probably that makes a lot of sense that he'd be known for that. And when you look at it at first glance, a poem like this looks to be sort of formless. It's clear where he's ending lines that there's very much purpose in that. Uh, but it's not always easy to tell right off the bat what he's doing. I hope you will go take a look at this poem. Google it or find it in an anthology or something. Because as much as almost any poem ever written, it is a poem that pays off the visual experience of it. Maybe go find it right now and read it along as I read it the second time. But you'll see that there's these parentheticals. So I carry your heart with me. Parenthetical. I carry it in my heart. End parenthetical. I'm never without it. New parenthetical. Anywhere I go, you go, my dear. And whatever is done by only me is your doing, my darling. End parentheses. Um, it certainly calls to mind the speech from the book of Ruth, right, in the Bible. And like that, it's quite beautiful, this, this poem about dedication, this, much like the speech in Ruth about dedication and commitment. But in the way he visually represents these with the parentheses and the closed parentheses and the lack of spaces and all that, it visually works as the objective correlative to the theme that he's offering here, right? It's very inventive in that way. It seems obvious, like who, who, would, who didn't think of this forever ago? It seems obvious that a poem about, about the power of love, about the unifying aspects of love, about the way that it brings two people together, about how the deepest and the most truest of loves cause people to become intertwined. This is a poem that physically manifests that in the way that it creates lines and the way that it jams everything together. But it also calls to mind a sonnet, which is uh, something that's common in, in his work. On the surface, it doesn't look like it, but then you take a closer look and, and it seems like he's uh, creating a modified sonnet in terms of the number of lines and the rhyme schemes and things like that. So if you'd like to dig a little bit deeper into that, I highly recommend it. For now, I'll just read it again. I hope you'll read along with me or at least search it out later on. If you're driving, I don't recommend you <laughs> that you Google it right now. But here it is again. I carry your heart with me. I carry it in by E.E. E. Cummings. I carry your heart with me. I carry it in my heart. I'm never without it. Anywhere I go, you go, my dear. And whatever is done by only me is your doing, my darling. I fear no fate, for you are my fate, my sweet. I want no world. For beautiful you are my world, my true. And it's you or whatever a moon is always meant, and whatever a sun will always sing is you. Here is the deepest secret nobody knows. Here is the root of the root and the bud of the bud and the sky of the sky of a tree called life, which grows higher than soul can hope or mind can hide. And this is the wonder that's keeping the stars apart. I carry your heart. I carry it in my heart. This has been The Daily Poem. Thanks for listening, and I'll be back tomorrow with another one.